Hey everyone, Mike McClary here with another Facebook Live session from the Amazing Selling Machine and Amazing.com. Uh, we're just getting starting right now, so uh, I'm going to check and make sure that everyone can see and hear me okay. Uh, if you hear a little background noise, it's because I need to mute things going on. Um, yeah, so we're, uh, we're live and people can see and hear us. Uh, I want to thank you again uh, to another Facebook Live session. We haven't had one of these in a few weeks. Uh, but if you haven't seen any of our live sessions, feel free to check them out here on the amazing.com Facebook page. We have all kinds of interviews and free training available for anyone looking to sell on Amazon. Or if you're already selling on Amazon and you want to know how to take it to the next level, check out all the free training we put here on the Facebook page for amazing.com. Also, uh, we got a really special guest today, a good friend of mine. I've had a chance to hang out with him several times. Uh, his name's Paul Barron. We'll be bringing him on later. Uh, I got to hang out with him last, or actually a few weeks ago in Florida and learn more about his amazing journey, but more on that in a little bit. Uh, I just want to make sure that everyone can see and hear it. Yep, uh, people are commenting. Uh, if, you, uh, if you don't mind, if you can see and hear me fine, uh, post a comment so I can actually uh, see who is watching now. Uh, and then I also want to mention, I'm going to keep going back and forth a couple of things. Not only do we have free training here on the Facebook page, we also have free training at AmazingSellingMachine.com. And if you want to get to that even easier, we've created a special link, ASM2018.com. That is where you can go straight to all the free training. And also you'll get access to a very special promotion that we'll be talking about at the end of this Facebook Live here. So there's Osman Osman. Hey, how you doing? Liz Cortez, Carmen. Great. Uh, thanks so much, guys. Uh, more people are joining now. We're already up to over 30 people. We'll probably get a couple hundred by the time that we are done here. Um, so again, thank you so much. Uh, again, feel free to check out all the previous interviews and training. We love doing these. Uh, we're going to do several more next week as well because uh, I'm going to be telling you later on more that the ASM training offers that we have available will be going away at the end of this month because we're going to be focusing on, on a completely brand new version of ASM that Paul actually got a chance to participate in. And uh, maybe we can talk a little bit about how that went down in Florida. But uh, also, hey, there's Paula. Hey, Paula, hey, there, Michelle, hey, everyone. Uh, if you guys have any questions at all during this Facebook Live, feel free to post them. Uh, I'll try to get to as many as possible near the end. Uh, if you have questions for Paul once I bring them on, feel free to say, hey, uh, here's, like, this is for Paul. I have a question specifically for him and actually what happened during his really amazing journey. So I want to, without any further ado, I want to bring on a good friend of mine, uh, an amazing Amazon seller, just an all-on great person. He also helps mentor and coach people as well, uh, teaching them exactly what he's learned over the past couple of years of selling on Amazon. So I'm going to introduce Paul Barron, who I believe also has a Still very has a special guest with us. Paul, your hair's back. I was, oh. trying, I was trying to hide from the camera. So that you can, can you say hi? <laughs> so who is this, Paul? Is everybody your name? What's your name? <laughs> this is Beauregard. We call him Bo. But he wanted to say he wanted to say hi. He really wanted to show people this. Hang on. You want to show awesome. Me? Hi, Bo. Great what to you? have you. What is that? Sure. You did see a top. Well, the top is in, inside of it. Yeah, it's just it's a lightsaber. Whoa. Is that is it's that from not, Star Wars? Yeah. It's yeah, it's from Star Wars. Do you like it's Star great. Wars? Yeah, I do. I do. I do. <laughs> I do like Star Wars. Where are we going in a couple weeks? I'm. We're going to Disney World. <gasps> that is so cool. Have you been to Disney World yet? No. What's the it? first trip to Disney is the best. You are gonna love it. Yeah, you're gonna love it. You want to say goodbye? Bye. Tell them where you're going. Bye, Bo. Now. Bo, I will see you. I'm going to, to, to the library right now. You're going to the <laughs> library. Okay, we'll have fun at the library. But, Bo, I'll see you in a few weeks in Disney okay. World. I'm going to be there too. Yeah, we're going to go and we're going to see him at, at the hotel in Florida. Isn't that fun? Say bye, Mike. Bye, Mike. Bye, Bo. <laughs> that was. <laughs> he, just blew a kiss. he just blew you a kiss awesome <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> that is awesome what a great kid awesome. yeah, no, uh, okay. how old is Bo right now he's he's three and a half so it's like a hit or miss on uh um your know, cooperation 
<laughs> well, that was perfect. It's almost like we scripted that out here, but he uh, he's a natural for the camera. <laughs> yeah, he's we put him in front of the camera all the time for our business, actually. So it's 50-50, like, I don't want to do pictures now or that, like, super cute. So... <laughs> Um, so uh, for anyone watching, uh, Bo and Paul were talking about Disney coming up in a few weeks. Uh, we'll talk about that a little more during this interview because that's a, a part of the SellerCon live event that Paul and I will be attending and that uh, uh, thousands of other people will be attending as well. Uh, but before I get to that, I just want to actually you know, bring up Paul. Paul, thanks for joining us. I know you're a busy guy. I know you have a business to run. You have a family to let run you. And you also... Uh, <laughs> do some coaching and mentoring on the side too, but uh, welcome to the call. How, how are things going for you? Good. Like you said, busy. Um, getting ready for SellerCon, which is awesome. Um, I'm speaking there, so that'll be, that'll be fun. So I've been preparing for that. We are launching oh, three new products and a relaunch and U.S. Customs kind of held us up a little bit on that stuff. So that's fun. I'm sure you've never had that happen. <laughs> So we've been planning the, the the launch blitz on that for the past, I don't know, since January, actually. So just everything, it's like everything is happening all at once. The product's launching, you know, doing a new, we're starting some new training courses in our, in our, in our mentoring group. And, you know, it's fun. Life is good. Yeah. And then you're preparing for speaking at the, this is the first time you're presenting at an amazing event, right? Yeah, at SellerCon. Yeah, this is the first, I've spoken elsewhere, but this is the first time at the amazing event. So I'm pretty excited. Sweet. Looking forward to uh, Do you mind sharing what your topic's going to be? Yeah. Um, so uh, our business, we've been able to get quite a good amount of publicity and press. So I'm going to be talking about uh, PR and basically how anybody can kind of PR hack and get publicity for their business. Very cool. That's awesome. And publicity equals free traffic. So I'm excited. I'll be paying attention to that as well. Uh, by the way, if anyone sees me kind of looking down and away from Paul, I'm actually paying attention to the comments on the Facebook Live as well. So I'm going to try to do some multitasking. I'm not always the best at it. It's not that I'm ignoring Paul. It's I'm trying to do two things at once. Uh, but yeah, so Paul, um, I know that last year we started talking even more and your business was really starting to take off. I, I remember that uh, um, I think you did over 350000 by the end of September last year. How did last year end up for you? Yeah, last year we ended just under five hundred. I think it was like 480 or something. So combined between uh, Amazon and our website. So it was pretty wow. good. I mean, Almost half a million dollars. <laughs> yeah, the lion's share of that was Amazon. Um, so obviously, but yeah, it was, it was a good year. That's sweet. And then this year, I mean, you're launching new products and everything. What do you uh, expect to do this year on Amazon? Um, this year, I was projecting, I'm projecting between 680 and 750. Okay. Um, and that's just, you know, it, I, it's hard to say with the new products because they're in the same vein. We already have a market, like we already have an audience of people that purchase from us. And so we can just remarket to those people that we've already had, that we already have on our list. And it's just, I mean, it could be, my expectations could get blown out of the water. Yeah. I mean, last year I was projecting. So um, last year was 2017. So 2016. Sorry, Rochelle. We have like 20 SKUs. Oh, we have 20 new She told me we have 20 new SKUs coming this year. So <laughs> You'll be a little busy. <laughs> yeah. I do the marketing. I don't do the planning. <laughs> <laughs> so that's her. That's her. She's the, she's like product research, operations, planning, behind the camera she's the smart person I, and i'm the one who just <laughs> likes to talk <laughs> um but 2016 we finished with just about 250,000 in sales mm -hmm. so we almost doubled that in 2017 and um i think that it would it should be pretty realistic for for us to break a million this year um but i'd like to be conservative just because i don't i want to make sure that if i'm setting a budget i'm not spending more than i'm making so, yep. No, that, that's smart. So, I mean, you, you doubled your business after the first year, um, you did a 50, I mean, and this year, even let's say you only had 750 K that's a 50% increase right, from last crazy. year. Yeah. That's a, uh, it's crazy. It's unheard of uh, in any other business. I don't know if you saw last week, but Amazon uh, has become the second largest company in the world as far as capitalization goes. And did you, did you see that? Yeah, I did. Actually I did. Yeah. 
And yeah, Jeff Bezos is like the richest man in the universe now. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, he's a, so uh, for anyone watching here, Amazon has surpassed Google as far as market capitalization goes, which is just crazy because Google has always been one of the major powerhouses uh, in, in the world. And so now Amazon with the purchase of Whole Foods, that means that they are bigger than them. And they also have surpassed a half a million employees. Uh, and so people like Paul, uh, I'm not going to say are taking advantage of this, but in ways we kind of are. We're leveraging Amazon's incredible power. Uh, so mm -hmm. let's go back a little, Paul. So when did you get started selling on Amazon? Um, we launched July of 2015. So that was uh, coming up on three years. So we're almost three years old. Almost three years, not quite. Yeah. So you did a half million uh, last year, almost three years old. That's crazy. Um, mm -hmm. When were you, uh, like, what were you doing? And, and some of these, I'll just be fully up front. Some of these questions I know now because I got to hang with Paul last week in Florida and I learned things, you know, Paul and I have known each other a little bit, but I learned things that I didn't know even. Uh, so yeah, I'm leading Paul into questions that I know because I know they're so cool. Um, but Paul, like, what were you doing before you actually started um, Amazing Selling Machine and Selling on Amazon? Yeah. Um, so I was thinking about the best way to answer this because um, I've kind of always been a sort of lifelong entrepreneur would be how I would describe it because I always wanted to work for myself and I always wanted to try to do things. And I, and I was tallying all the businesses that if I would consider um, when I, so when I was five, I would take drawings to the grocery store and I'd give them to grandma's and I'd say, do you want to buy this or do you want this? And then I'd say, yes. And then I'd say, well, that'll be 10 cents. So I started selling stuff when I was like five and I completely forgot about that until my mom reminded me, but that's just kind of like who I am. It's just, I've always wanted to work for myself and do my own thing. But the problem is um, I'm like the crazy visionary type that like start stuff. And I don't, I'm not really good with planning. Like I'm not good with systems. So it's awesome that I have an amazing wife like Rochelle because she's good at that. So why I'm, why I'm saying all this is up to the point where I found out about amazing um, was I had tried to start, I think maybe eight or nine different types of businesses in my life up to that point. And they'd all just kind of failed slightly less than the one before. And mainly because I never had a system. Um, it was because I would, I just like, okay, I want to do this and I do it. So I had no problem taking risks, just how I am. So I wanted to do it and I do it. And then I'd be like, okay, this is boring. And I, I, um, I don't know. I hate this now. So the year before I heard about amazing, I had started up to that point in time, the most successful business I ever did, which I think, um, what did we do, Rochelle? What did we do in Catalyst in 2018 or 20? It was like 40 grand, maybe. It was, it was like practically nothing. And that was like very successful for me. And that's a thing that like most people need to realize that most businesses, if you can pay yourself your first year or you can do anything over like a couple thousand dollars a month. It's pretty good. And so I had started in July of 2014, a business with a, with a friend of mine and we were doing website design and, and development. And so my role was supposed to be sales and marketing because that's just what I like to do. And I'm good at it. And I can also do, you know, I did some design or whatever, but Jesse, my, my business partner, was going to be doing all the design and all the development. Midway through the year, he got a job. And so I was kind of left stuck doing it all. And so I was planning on doing all the sales and the marketing stuff, growing the business. He was going to handle the production. We were going to hire developers and all this stuff. And it just got really complicated and hard. And I was probably working like 60 hours a week just on that. And because Jesse got a job, um, I needed, like, I wasn't able to finish as many projects as we needed to finish in order to pay the bills. So I picked up a part-time job waiting tables. And my plan was that I was, so this is in 2014 when I started this, um, which, um, yeah, it was basically a year before. So uh, amazing. So I had spent a whole year just like pulling my hair out, trying to start this business, working like 60 hours a week because I wanted, I, I never, I just wanted to work for myself. I wanted to do my own thing. I wanted freedom of location. You know, I wanted to be able to do stuff and like take my family on vacations. And I know like for me, it's not about the money because money is a tool. You know, I want to be able to use money to, to donate to, to charities or, or do, you know, 
relief work and missions work in, in third world countries. Like that's just who I am. And um, I figured that if I knew how to build a business, then I could use that skill and then take that into other countries, build businesses there, and then help people by teaching them how to build businesses. Problem was I had never really successfully built a business. So I had this desire that I really wanted to do this, but I didn't know how to do it. So fast forward to um, 2015, it was in April. A uh, friend of mine, Nate, from, Nate McHenry from high school, he had taken ASM4. And that was in the fall of uh, 2014 was, was when ASM4 started. And I remember seeing him post about the products that he was launching on Amazon. You know, like you do, you just casually stalk people on Facebook. You know, you, you see them, but you don't really interact much. So I had seen um, earlier in the year, he had, I think he had tried doing like eBooks. And so then I saw that he was launching these, these actual physical products that he had. I thought that he was working for a company is what I thought. And I thought that he was helping this company start their business. I didn't know it was his at the time. Then he um, just posted like, it was just a text post on Facebook in like April of 2015. And it basically said, Hey, a lot of you guys have seen that I've started selling stuff on Amazon. Um, the course that I took is opening up, uh, by the way, I made $50,000 in sales my first month. <laughs> so I was, I was blown away because, um, up to this point, like, you know, I don't even know if we made like 20 grand our first year with running Catalyst. And that's me working 60 hours a week and waiting tables, you know, 10 to 30 hours a week. So that's between what, you know, 70 to 90 hours worth a week. And there's only 168 hours in every week. So I wasn't sleeping much. We had just had Bo. He was one, he, we, he was born in, in August of 2014. I'm trying to start a business. I'm working to another night job and we just had a baby. And I see this thing that Nate did and that like spark in me, that little entrepreneurial, oh man, this looks amazing. And, you know, no pun intended. I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, I, I wanted to think that I could do it. And honestly, um, I intentionally stopped reading it because I felt it was too good for me to be true. And I have to give a shout out to my older sister because if it wasn't for her, she actually sent me in a message on Facebook. She screenshot Nate's post and she's like, did you see this? I think you'd be good at this. And it was, it was honestly because of her that she kind of gave me a vote of confidence that like you can do this because I was so in my own head of like, I can't do that because I'm trying to start Catalyst. It was Catalyst Media Group was the name of the company we were trying to start. And I was like, I don't have time for this. And it was because my older sister reshared it to me that I actually watched the whole series of videos. And I was like, this just makes perfect sense. Um, awesome. that, that is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So I, it's funny because I've tried to help Rochelle or Jessica is my older sister. I've tried to help her a bunch um, do it and just like coach her for free. And it, she's just, it's just something they just don't really want to do, which is, kind of funny for to me i'm like why don't you guys want to do this i feel like i owe you back because you're literally responsible for i mean it's not all her but obviously like i took the choice but had she not done that like i wouldn't be where i'm at today um you know, because i think a lot of us feel that way um i know that you know once you get the bug you know once you you know what it's like to own your own business and own your own successful business it's hard to comprehend that every other person on earth earth doesn't want to do the same thing. Um, I, I tell, and it's kind of frustrating sometimes. <laughs> like, it's so crazy. And I think the common excuse is that people are comfortable with their job. They want to secure income or something. But to me, I thought a lot about this as being an on, on my entrepreneurial journey for the past decade or whatever. I feel like working for somebody else, you're just buffering yourself from risk because as a business owner, you feel all the risk. And you buffer that for your employees, but there's still risk. Like it's risky living. You might as well just take the step and live for yourself. Totally agree. There is no safe job out there anymore. You're absolutely right. Um, you know, so, so you took this leap. Um, you already told us how things went. I mean, you started selling what a quarter million dollars in 2015 
almost a half million dollars last year. Um, your profit margins, what do you think, you, you know, percentage wise, what you basically do with profit margins? Yeah. So our, our gross, so um, I don't know if this is technical business lingo, but I, I have gross and net margins. So mm-hmm. our gross margins prior to ad spend and stuff are just about 50%. Um, basically our take home that we have like put in our pocket income is about 20 to 25%. And it just depends, like, it just depends on how much, how aggressive we are in marketing. So it's, they're pretty, they're pretty good. That, that, that's awesome. Um, congratulations, Paul. I mean, what a great story. I know I got to hear more of it. Uh, I know I may have focused a little more on the waiting part of it. Uh, but I mean, you know, we're grown men and the fact that you would do that for your family and for your own dreams, you know, to go out there, that, that says something about you and probably why you're successful too, that yeah. you'll do whatever it is to make sure your family's taken care of and that you can pursue your dreams. Um, you know, and that, that's, that's awesome. Congratulations to you. Thank you. It was, um, it was a bit of an ego check because, you know, you are trying to do like, I'm a business owner, but the thing is, is that like, you know, you got to do, what you got to do. So do you sell, see yourself ever going back to waiting tables again? <laughs> I love waiting tables. It's a ton of fun. Like I would, I would do it if I could do it like once a month, just for fun. <laughs> But I wouldn't, but I wouldn't want to be put on a schedule. <laughs> True. Just let me come in and wait tables just because it's a blast. Like I, I just like, I like feeding people food, alcohol, and <laughs> having a good time. And that's like waiting tables. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so um, uh, you, let's, let, me, let me go over a few like basic things that people always want to know. So uh, first off, if you're watching this, we're at close to 50 people right now. The numbers keep going up. Uh, please like this video, please share it with as many people as possible. We love sharing these Facebook lives uh, so that the word gets out. Um, if you are an existing Amazing Selling Machine member, give me a shout out. Uh, if you're someone who is not an Amazing Selling Machine member, feel free to post here and post let us know why you're not. Um, we want to know and maybe kind of help you figure out, you know, whether it's right for you or not. Of course, you know, Paul and I are going to say it's right for everyone. Uh, but the realist, you know, real answer is it's not, you know, uh, you have to want to really have the freedom that people like Paul and his wife, Rochelle and their son, Bo and his friends, Nate and Ben and Angie and Athena, some other people have, you have to want that freedom. So maybe that's, you know, maybe you're one of those people who like being uh, in a normal job. Totally fine. Uh, also don't worry about it. Um, you don't have to go out there and try to sell half a million a year. Some people do this on the side for, uh, you know, just a little bit of work per week. That's totally fine too. We'll get more into that later on, but please like share this. I love seeing as many people. There's Maggie, uh, there's Rochelle, there's Carmen out there, ASM8, Henry, welcome. Yeah, you have ASM8. Those are some of the existing students out there as well. Love seeing love all you guys. All you guys. Nina, love you too. Uh, so Paul, when you started selling 2015, you took the course. Um, do you remember how long it took you before you got your first product live and on Amazon? Yeah, we were super aggressive because um, uh, I'm sure you probably picked up from my, I guess my story of just, I just do whatever it takes, you know. Um, for me, it was such a big investment and it is, I mean, it is a big investment. For me, I was like, okay, we're making money. Like that was the choice that I made that there, it, there is no plan B. Like plan A is it works and plan B is it works. And if you can get into that mindset even if you have roadblocks and no matter what happens, you'll make it work. So for us, we, uh, I think course went live May, spent all of May um, doing, you know, product research, keyword research, uh, supplier contacting. And we, were, we went really, really quickly. Um, we contacted, uh, we narrowed down our products within the first, like the final selection within first couple of weeks. And to be honest, we didn't really think that it was a home run. We didn't think we're like, okay, we're just going to do this and then start selling just to start selling. And then we were going to add different, actually had a different product in mind that we were going to go with later, but we just were like, okay, this is, this is quick and easy. We're going to do this. It meets the criteria anyway. And so we did it. Uh, we contacted something like 20 or 30 different suppliers, um, requested quotes from 10 ordered samples from three and then made our decision with the supplier that we wanted to go with based on the quality of the samples and her her responsiveness and how good at English she was. And her name is Kat. Well, her English name is Catherine. 
and we've worked with her ever since she we kind of i actually kind of consider her a part of our family now like we talk on a regular daily basis um she sent us gifts when we had Lael, our daughter um like she's pregnant she's gonna have a baby here soon so we we're sending her gifts and it's just that's a side benefit for me like because i love making friends so we have an awesome friend in china um that was all within the first month of may um june then we ordered our products got them produced um got them shipped over just you know if you look if you know our brand and you look at it now like the evolution like we just did like everything by the book asm just quick and dirty logo just got the website up landing page done emails done all that stuff and just started uh production of the products with our crappy homemade logo <laughs> and got them live um it was actually the very first prime day ever it was just crazy incident that the when they went live was the first prime day it was july 2015 and how were your sales on that prime day when you went live it was it was insane i remember thinking everybody says this every single person that you talk to about their first sale they typically will say i can't believe it's working and that was my response was like oh my gosh this is working and the crazy thing for me was we didn't even have pro photos yet like we just used the photos that our suppliers sent us <laughs> and so we put those up got the regular photos up the next day and as per asm teaching our conversion rates went up and our sales went up so we had nine nine sales our first day which is insane and um it just kind of kept going up from there and we capped off the rest of um 2015 or sorry 20 yeah so 2015 was a half year because that was when we started it was like 50,000 in sales that first year and um it was yeah that's crazy. crazy. You know, and, and so now that like, you know, people like you and, and Nate and Ben and other people are like so far much further along down their journey, you think back like 50,000 sales in half a year, you're thinking, wow, it's kind of a small, small number. But realistically, that's huge. Starting a brand new business half of the year and you do 50K in sales just, you know, starting off. Uh, that's pretty crazy for any type of business that's out there right now. Even an extra thousand dollars a month is life changing. You know, and it was, yeah, we lose, we lose track of that because now we have these businesses that are further along and it's just, it's, uh, you know, it's easy to lose track of that, but a thousand dollars a month is a life changing, can yeah. be a life changing for a lot of people. You know, yeah. it can take you from moving paycheck to paycheck to actually being able to save a little and pay off debt. Yep. No, you're, you're so right. It's, it's amazing. And, um, so you, you took the amazing selling machine training, um, you know, you, you started making a lot of sales right away, like nine sales in the first day, probably no reviews, uh, pretty crappy photos, uh, a logo you sketched out by hand. Um, that, that is, that is awesome. And then would you say that, uh, what, when did it really start taking off for you that you, when did you realize that, wow, this is the business for me? Um, well, like I was so burnt out with catalyst, um, the, the, the business that we had started because, you know, I've been working you know, 60 hours a week. So I think I kept sort of doing that for like a year. It was just totally, you know, half passing it because I was just so burnt out and working 60 hours a week doing that plus, you know, waiting tables. So I kept waiting tables and everything and for about a year. And, you know, to be completely honest, like I could have probably gone a little bit longer and used some of that extra income just to put back into the business. Like, um, you ref you referenced Ben and Nate, they're um, good friends of mine, and we all you know hung out in Florida. But Ben, their business is like almost like two million a year or something, and he's just now quitting his job. It's and the it, the awesome thing about that is that um, they've just had extra income, like they're paying they can pay all their bills with their business, but literally they're just taking all their business income and putting it back into the business, so. I realized it was for me the moment that I started making sales, honestly. Um, and I was so over catalyst that I was just like, I'm done. And, um, you know, started, we started living off the income probably a little bit sooner than we should have, but you know, we haven't, you know, missed paying our mortgage. We, 
you know, life has it's been interesting at some times when sales go a little bit slow, but mm-hmm. it's just been on a general upward trend. And, um, well, that, I don't know. That's I, awesome though, because you know what, your, your story is indicative of the flexibility this gives you because right. you talk about it in the course that you can choose like, like Ben is doing, uh, to put every single dime of your, uh, the money you make back into the business and that way grow it quicker. Uh, mm-hmm. or you can take, um, you can just say, Hey, I'm fine with an extra thousand dollars a month and take that out and live off it. Or you can do something kind of in the middle. And it sounds like for a while for you, you were doing exactly what you wanted to do, which gave you the ability to, you know, do things you weren't doing before. Right. So, yeah. So that's basically what, what we did was we started living off the income probably a little bit sooner than we should have just in terms of like aggressively growing our business. Um, but our business is still grown, you know, so instead of going from like 50,000 in 2015 to a quarter million in 2016, had we, you know, put more money into the business, we could have gone higher, but I'm not upset about that. I don't care. We built a solid brand. Um, you know, like I mentioned earlier, we've been able to get some great publicity. And the, the thing that I look at this now is that we're not just building a business that we have income from, but we're building an asset that was, um, I think back in September, you guys did something with David and Leah Cups and talked about how they sold their business. And I was just thinking of that, like, really, it's like owning your home versus renting a home when you own your own business. Everything that you do adds equity. And if you want to sell it, get it appraised, you can. That's the, that's the awesome thing about building a, a, a business like this is that if you want to sell it, you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. It's yeah. great. Yeah. No, you're right about that. <laughs> um, so, you know, something else I want to talk about, too, is uh, um, – the training, you know, uh, well, uh, the, the training, you know, we have the free training. It's out there right now. Uh, you took the leap. You joined the amazing selling machine, got all the training, the coaching, the community, everything like that. Uh, but I think that, have you also attended one of our live events? Yeah. Um, so I attended back in 2016, uh, September, and I'm going to include a portion of that in, in a little bit of story. It's kind of funny. Um, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to tell that now because you'll have to, you have to listen to it at the event. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I went out on a limb and they, at the time they had platinum passes, which were, um, you had access to uh, the speakers back room and then like a platinum dinner. And I met you there and I told you that I was going to buy you a coffee and I never bought you a coffee. Uh, I haven't <laughs> forgotten that though. There's still, you, you haven't forgotten that. Yeah. So that was 2016 and it was awesome. The, the content was amazing. Um, we still use a lot of the stuff that we learned at that event to this day in our business. Yeah, I know. Uh, every time I go to a live event, I get, you know, a notebook and I just write notes, write notes in it. And then right. I look back on that to this date. Like I can look back to the, the events that I've been doing, the masterminds go back now four years. Uh, and it is great, great, great content. And so I'm looking forward to seeing your presentation, looking forward to seeing the rest of the content as well. Uh, and so one of the things I wanted to bring up, the reason I'm, I'm asking Paul about the content is because today we have a very special offer that I wanted to uh, talk about. And before I get to that, uh, if anyone has any questions, uh, we're definitely going to take those. I know Danny, I saw a question for you earlier on. Uh, I don't know if it's specifically for Paul. Uh, It's about Vendor Express. Uh, You know, oh, uh, so anyone knows Vendor Express is another way to sell on Amazon. They just announced they're shutting down that program. So they are not accepting any new Vendor Express sellers. It was a way, kind of a hack to get into the back end and get access to ma- Amazon marketing services. So Danny, yeah, they are, I just got my email two days ago. They're shutting that down. So they will not be accepting any more people into there. The good thing is, uh, even though we can't get access, our new people can't get access to Amazon marketing services, inside of Seller Central, uh, like Paul has, they're now giving you more and more tools in there that used to be only available to Amazon marketing services. Um, so, so Paul, have you went and got brand registered yet? Or is that on your timeline? Um, so we, the, Amazon changed the brand registry. We did it, um, yeah. right away. So we're kind of brand registry 1.0 and now they're on like 2.0. Yep. So that is, it's funny because that is actually one thing that we've had like on our list to get a trademark. And it's stupid because like, we can literally just go to a lawyer and say, Hey, can you help us trademark? And it, we just keep forgetting to do it. So honestly, I mean, we're re- registry 1.0 and we need to be on 2.0. Yeah, so. we didn't do that for a while either because it didn't matter. Uh, right. Yeah, we need we need to do that. So 
I need Ben and Nate. I know you're watching this, so you can hold me accountable. <laughs> ask, well, ask. Once you do that. And so, and the reason Damian mentioned that is because you don't have to be trademarked for all the benefits, but you get even some more special ones like headline search ads. If you are trademarked and brand registered, you can now do those inside of Seller Central and not have to worry about Amazon marketing services. The same thing is true for Amazon stores used to be only available for Amazon marketing services. Now you can do that inside of Seller Central. Central. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So definitely, uh, uh, you don't have to worry so much about uh, having to get access to Vendor Express now. Um, so yeah, uh, if you're watching, if you are an existing Amazon seller or Amazing Selling Machine member, highly recommend getting trademarked sooner rather than later. We used to tell people, don't worry about it. But now once you know what your brand is, definitely go ahead. Uh, and I'm going to keep on Paul to make sure he does that this year too, to get access to all those really cool services. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's any other specific questions out here. I don't see a lot. Um, and Danny's saying it takes about one year to get brand registered now. We actually got ours back in, within six months. So our trademark took just under six months and brand registry uh, for us went and only took us one month. Because once you have that trademark and you have the logo, um, it, uh, it can, don't get wrong, Danny, it can take longer, but it took us about six to seven months to get that taken care of for us. Uh, let's see. Any other questions? Uh, here's one for Paul. Uh, if you went back to waiting tables, who would you <laughs> rather serve drinks to, Rich Henderson or Mike McClary? And be very whoever, careful how you answer. Whoever tips the best. <laughs> that's, an easy, that's an easy question to answer. I know that most people from the UK don't know what tipping is. <laughs> Excellent. Not, you know what? That is the perfect I'm saying, I'm, I'm not saying that that's you, Rich. <laughs> but <laughs> uh, Ricardo Alexander, uh, where do we go to get trademarked? Um, it's really simple. So you can either go to USPTO.gov and do it yourself. Uh, you can hire any attorney, just Google trademark attorney. They can do it. Or like we did for our first one, you can go online. Uh, there's Trademarkia. Uh, there's Rocket Lawyer. There is uh, just Google online trademarks. Services will do it for you for like 150 bucks. You pay all the same trademarking fees, like that's separate to the government, uh, but that service will charge about 150 bucks. A lawyer will probably charge you somewhere between 500 and 1,000 for their time, but there's benefit to that because they'll do all kinds of trademark research to make sure that you don't uh, have any hassles with it. Um, so you just that. Google it, lots of places. Yeah, Paul? <laughs> Rich, sorry, I'm reading. Uh, I was going to say before Rich uh, sidetracked me, um, Amazon has specific guidelines too, which there's different types of trademarks. So when you do this, make sure that you go like look on Amazon seller central. So like there's, they have the um, questions Q and a on how to, what to do to get brain registered. And then just, if you go the uh, lawyer route, or if you trademark, yeah, make sure that you do within those guidelines. Cause I think there's, I think two or three different, categories that they have. Absolutely. Yeah. If you go into Site Sale Central and you go to their help and go to brand registry, that'll walk you through the trademarks that they accept. Um, and there's a couple of different ones that they definitely look for. Uh, word marks are okay. You do not have to have the image, but a word mark will work for you, but just make sure you follow the guidelines there. Uh, let's see. Any other questions? <clears throat> do you mind if, do you mind if I jump back up? Um, I'm yeah, go my, ahead. Because I'm looking at Danny, Danny mentioned something about kind of running into a bunch of roadblocks and um, I have to, I want to speak to, so one of, uh, one of my friends that I met through the amazing community, her name is Sherry. And um, I love Sherry's story because you have stories kind of like ours where it was sort of a, you know, started working kind of a slow rise. And then you have Nate, you know, who was sold like a bazillion dollars his first month. Um, and then we have friends like friends like Sherry who, I think she said something like her first four or five products were duds. Like they just didn't go, they just didn't take off. And it was, and I don't know if it was necessarily that the products were duds or if it was just something, I don't know. I don't know why they didn't go, but she stuck at it. And, um, you know, she lost a bit of money on those first few products, but her long-term, her, her, her goal was so long sighted and she knew that the system worked just because of being in the community. Um, that, she just decided that she was going to make it work. And so now um, she's actually in China. I think she's in China right now, or she's on her way to China to source more products, but she's got a really successful business now. She's kind of really narrowed down her niche into, into products that are working. But I think it was like at least four or five products before she found one that was really like 
working for her. So if you, and that's something that we tell the people in our group that we mentor too, that, um, you know, the amazing rich, you know, rich has put together an amazing group of mentors in the amazing community that are incredible. And I rely on them even to this day, um, ask questions like Sue Sibley just answered a question for me the other day. She's awesome. Um, but we'll do this even in our, in our group where we kind of do private mentorship stuff. And we just always encourage people that, um, you know, follow the training, make sure that you make use of the mentors and don't get discouraged. Like, don't give up. If you get to a point where you're feeling discouraged and like, Oh man, I'm not going to make this work. That's normal. Just, you need to let people know and like say, Hey, I need help. And that's the community for that. I couldn't agree more. You know, the last thing we're going to go out there and say is that a hundred percent of the people who sign up and start selling are going to have a hundred percent success rates with their very first product. And it's going to make them a million dollars in the first six months. Uh, That would be disingenuous. You know, this is a real business. It's not a quick make money scheme. Uh, It's a way to build a long-term business, a cash flow business an asset. And it takes time. It takes several months. I mean, the training alone goes for two months. Uh, you know, and then all along you're taking action and then there will be time to have your products made and then there's time to get it launched. But our goal is within six months, you'll have your product up and selling, bringing in revenue. And then at, at that point, you have your first product live. You know exactly what it is. Um, that product should be making you a profit. And then really when the big bucks come in is when you take all that knowledge and start building your brand off of that mm-hmm. first product. That's, I mean, I don't know. What do you think about that plan, Paul? I completely agree. Um, because I think that the best teacher is experience in, in trial and error. Um, honestly, if you don't, if you don't have mistakes and you don't learn from mistakes, then, um, you know, if you accidentally succeed and you have it easy first, uh, once you hit failure or you hit mistakes, it is actually, I feel harder. Um, but if you can grit, you know, just grit your teeth, figure out what it is that you're doing wrong, or if it's a product or something, and just be honest with yourself. Uh, be teachable, you know, you'll go, you'll go far, whether it's in this business in general, I feel like that's good life advice. You know, and the benefit though, for everyone watching is, is just incredible. So no matter what it takes and there is no plan B, that's our motto around here. It's worth it because Mm -hmm. once you learn this business, once you start selling it, once you build your brand, the freedom that you have to do what you want in your life, you know, to have your three and a half year old son come and hang out with you while you're doing a Facebook live, uh, to be able to take him and your wife to Disney in a few weeks. Um, it's, uh, there's more things, other opportunities come open from this business. You know, like I keep telling people, like my life has changed so much in the past year. Uh, I know this is about you, 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 Paul, but I also want to share my experience too. My life has changed because of all the opportunities that have opened up to me because of being successful in this business. Uh, all the people that I've met and got to hang out with. Um, it's just incredible. So yeah, when no matter what, Danny, anyone else watching who is a member and who is selling, Keep at it. Um, this The benefits are so much worth everything that it takes to get a business going. And we're there with you the entire way. We're not giving up. We're not going anywhere. Paul's around. I'm around. Rich Henderson. Sue Sibley, he mentioned earlier, is around all the other amazing mentors. Um, it's awesome. And uh, we're getting kind of late into this. So I want to kind of talk about something else special coming up. Paul will be at the SellerCon live event we're talking about. That's at the, uh, the end of the first week in April. I believe April 4th, 5th, and 6th is when SellerCon is. Now, if you are not yet a member of the Amazing Selling Machine and you don't yet have a product live, you're not selling it, totally fine. But we have a very special offer with you today. So first off, if you have not watched the free live training, absolutely go to asm2018.com. Go get all the free training that's out there. Uh, there's no catches. We have tons of free stuff out there, how to actually start the business on your own there. Go get that. However, once you see that, and once you're ready to take the next step, we want you to join us and actually join the amazing selling machine. This is, it's a paid course. You'll get all the details there, but it's an eight week online web class that we go ahead and we train you on every step from A to Z on how to make and launch your own product on Amazon. People like myself, like Paul, his partners, Ben and Nate, uh, their wives who do the businesses with them. My buddies, Rich, uh, Matt and Jason, this is how they all got started selling. And we have the entire course of Amazing Selling Machine for you, the eight week, eight week long course. You can sign up for today and start learning today. 
The moment you sign up, you actually get access to the course. You get access to the mentors that Paul was talking about earlier. These are real life people who are volunteering their time to give you their help and training. And on average, we just, you know, every, the last time that we asked the mentors, you know, what they're doing in their business, on average, the mentors have sold at least a million dollars in products. So these are people who really know what they're talking about. We also, when you sign up for Amazing Selling Machine, you get access to our private resource vault. These are all the services that we use in our own business, photography services, video services, freight forwarders that'll teach you from the easiest way to ship your products from China. If you've never had a product made overseas and never figured out how to ship that from there to where you're selling, I know I didn't, a freight forwarder will make your life so easy and they're very affordable. We give you the actual freight forwarders that we use. We also, um, we're going to give you templates, all these free downloadable products. If you want to know how to communicate with a supplier so that you know how to sound professional, we give you all those free templates. In the training, the eight weeks training, we have downloadable PDFs. So if you want to go back and figure out exactly uh, what was covered in one of the training videos, we have PDFs that actually walk you through a learning guide. It's not just a summary. It's an actual learning guide that revisits the PDF in detail so you know what was covered in there. You get all that as a part of the amazing selling machine. Uh, also, we give you a 30-day money-back guarantee. So anyone thinking about signing up, you know this is for you, you have 30 days to try it out. And there is absolutely no questions asked. Um, if you realize this is not for you, just let us know after 30 days and you will get a complete refund. We've never not refunded anyone who's let us know within 30 days uh, that this business isn't for them. And like Paul talked about earlier, this may not be for everyone. You know, you have to really want freedom. You have to want to own your own business. Uh, you don't have to work 60 hours a week doing this business. Once you get the training, get the product up, you can put in as little or as much time as you want. If you want to turn it into a million or multi-million dollar business, we have people doing millions of dollars a month. You can do that. That will take work. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to say that you can put in an hour a week and build that kind of business. You will have to put work into it. But if you just want to have a lifestyle business where you're pulling in an extra thousand or two thousand dollars a month and you only want to work a little bit of time, you know, maybe it's 30 minutes a day, maybe it's a couple hours a week, you can do that. We have people doing that that are living, breathing examples of that. So this uh, if you want to get in and try it out and realize it's not for you, 30 day money back guarantee. Absolutely. Now, there's something else that we are just announcing today that absolutely no one else knows about. And there's a reason I was asking Paul questions about the live event. Um, I forgot that he was speaking at it. I forgot that he and I were talking about getting to speak at it. And I'm so thrilled that he's going to be at it. And uh, I haven't seen him present on this, but I will be watching it and learning about PR and press releases. But the live event, um, now to get a ticket to the live event, it's well over $1,000 right now. Um, but one thing that we're making available to people is something called live streaming which means that if you can't go to the live event and you still want to watch the entire live event, you can get access to that now for $397. So basically $400, uh, anyone can go and get free live streaming, which means also you'll get recordings of that. So later on, if you want to watch those recordings of the live event at any point in time, they don't go away, you can watch those later on. As a very special offer that is only valid till the end of this month, if you become a member of the Amazing Selling Machine, we're going to give you the live streaming for $397 for free. So instead of paying $397, you will get that for free for anyone who signs up for the amazing selling machine between now and the end of the month. Um, that offer absolutely goes away at the end of the month because at the end of the month, we will no longer be selling the amazing selling machine. Um, like Paul mentioned earlier, he spent the time with me and Rich and Matt down in Florida preparing for the next iteration of the amazing selling machine. So in order to get all the recording done and the training done, we're shutting down the amazing selling machine at the end of this month. So if you're watching this and you want to get a head start uh, before we shut it down, then you will want to sign up before the end of the month in order to get access to the amazing selling machine, everything I just told you that comes along with it, and to get the free live streaming to the seller con. Now, I know that most people are thinking, how much value will the free live streaming be to me if I join today? and I don't have a product live by the time Selicon comes around, don't worry about it. Like I said, those recordings will be made available to you and you can come back and watch them at any point in time. Like Paul and I were talking about, I still go back to previous live events like Selicon and I review the information. I review my notes. So if you take the training now and you get your product up and selling within let's say three months, you can go back then and watch the presentations at Selicon, which are, they're, they're not just a re- you know, a regurgitation of what you get in the training. 
Everything is brand new. It's additional strategies that help you take your business to the next level. So you can come back at any point in time. You can watch them now. You can watch them in three months. You can watch them a year from now. These strategies will still be relevant and you can then take your business to the next level. But again, now the only way to get access to that for free is to get inside the amazing sell machine and join up now until the end of the month. Definitely use the link asm2018.com. That is just, you know, there's nothing special comes with the link. We just want to track how many people are actually going to be getting access to the free training, the free videos, uh, the free live streaming of SellerCon. So that will take you right to the checkout page on how to get access to Amazing Selling Machine. So I definitely see as many people as possible joining us. Uh, we have tons of people that are already in the community. Paul's one of them. I mentioned his partners already. You have so many other people. Uh, there's people watching right now. Merev, uh, Todd, uh, Benjamin, of course, Sean. I love you, Sean. Sean is one of our more active members. He helps people. He's practically a mentor himself as too. Uh, Ricardo, I don't know if you're a member yet, but I hope that you will be at some point in time. Uh, Todd, Danny, I know is a member. I know Danny, hope to see you really taking things, seeing things take off for you. So many other people are members already. We want to see as many people as possible. So anyone watching, if you're not a member, ask us questions here. Uh, we'll be answering as many as we possibly can. If you are on the edge or on the, on the, the, the ledge trying to decide if you want to join, please try it out. There's nothing that says you can't try it for 30 days and decide it's not for you, but this will make sure that you get access to the training and you get access to the live streaming for free. Uh, but end of the month, this goes away. Um, so you, no one will be able to join the amazing selling machine on April 1st. I can tell you that we will be opening up later on with the new version. And if you're worried about, you know, getting access to the current version right now and not getting access to the new version, you will get that for free. Once we have the new version out, you will get access to that free as well. So don't worry about that. The, the benefit now is you actually will get at least a month head start uh, on anyone else by joining today. And you'll get the free Silicon live streaming uh, that no one else has gotten right now. So uh, Paul, any final words you have to say? To yeah, say that. Um, yeah, just, you know, do what you need to do. If you need to, you know, talk to your spouse or if you're not married, whatever. Um, if you think this is for you, just the biggest thing that's going to get you motivated is just to take action. And uh, once you take action, then you get motivated. So don't wait for yourself to be motivated until you decide to do something. Oftentimes you need to just decide to do something and then the motivation will come later. So if you feel like you, you have what it takes, you might as well bet on yourself. Like Matt, uh, not Matt, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> like Mike said, uh, there's really no, really, there is no risk um, because if you go through it and then you decide, you know, I don't know that I have the time to do this or I don't think this is for me. You have that 30 day refund window. And I mean, you already laid out all the, benefits of you know you get to upgrade for free which i mean we basically um you watched every new upgraded ver uh, upgraded version so i think i don't know are you seeing sen ver uh vervoot what's the difference between amazing.com amazing selling do you mind if i answer this yeah go right ahead yeah, yeah amazing selling machine uh is basically specifically targeted at it's the A to Z compendium of, of how to pick market and sell products on Amazon. Amazing.com has a lot of good information, but I, I will say this because I'm not affiliated really with amazing and like, like you are, but there are a lot of copycat courses out there that have sprung up since amazing selling machine or ASM has come about. And it's because ASM is the definitive course. It's the best course in the industry. Um, there are people that have tried to do their own versions with less success, and it's just really, really good. I mean, um, I don't know if that's how you would describe it, but it's it's just focused specifically on everything. Like we talk about freight forwarders, like it's no big deal because that's what we use. But going into this, I didn't even know where to begin or what it, what I didn't even know what that meant. But that's, the, that's what ASM teaches you, is it teaches you how to find really good product opportunities that you can sell, you can start selling fairly quickly, how to source those products, how to get them labeled with your own name, your own brand, you create everything, and then you start leveraging Amazon to sell and launch your own business. It's awesome. So um, it's A to Z, everything you need.
Awesome. That's a great explanation for it and great answer to that. Um, I want to thank you, Paul. Uh, looking forward to seeing you again. Um, it's going to be really cool to see you and your family down there. I'll have my family with me as well this time. Uh, I'm going to see all the other mentors, the speakers and everything. Hopefully several people who are watching this video will see at SellerCon. And then I hope that several people that are watching this and aren't yet Amazing Selling Machine members, I'll meet someday at one of these live events, or I'll at least see them in the community, helping answer questions and help them build their own business. So with that, I'm going to sign off. Thanks to everyone for watching. I know we have a lot of existing members out there. Thank you guys for hanging with us and uh, helping out so much like you do. Uh, all the new members, anyone who's not a member, hope to see a member. But if you're not, I wish you the most success possible. Take advantage of our free training. I can't stress that enough. Even if you're not willing to jump in, watch the free training. It's awesome. Uh, and then I just, again, I want to thank everyone. Have a fantastic weekend. And I will see uh, everyone else next week. We'll have two more of these coming next week. Take care, and I'll see you all soon. See you guys.